Hey everybody, this is Tommy with In the Disney State of Mind. Today we are at the Magic Kingdom. We're so excited to be here today. This is actually the last time that we're gonna be able to be here with all the fall decorations up. It'll be changing over to Christmas very soon. But also we realized that we have not made a Lightning Lane multi-pass video. So I wanna show you guys some tips and tricks about that. We're gonna hang out today in the park. Have a great day here at the Magic Kingdom. We're so excited to be here and we're excited to take you guys along with us. Like I said, we are so excited to be here. I love Main Street decorated for fall. It really is. I, I love it for Christmas, I do. But there's just something about being here with it decorated for fall and knowing that this is the last time that we'll get to see it before it changes over to Christmas here very soon. Um, it makes me even more excited to be able to be here and hang out today. And so, I, yeah, I'm gonna hang in there. Here we go, I'm gonna turn the corner. Always have to get the shot. And there she is, all the way down a beautifully decorated Main Street, Cinderella Castle. Like I said, one of our purposes today is to show you guys a little bit about the Lightning Lane multi-pass system. And so we actually did seven days out, you know, we got our selections, we did it a little bit later in the day. And so we didn't get everything that we wanted, but the thing that you have to remember is that sometimes that's not a huge deal. And the reason why it wasn't a very big deal is because you're gonna end up seeing these things show back up at three days out. Non-resort guests are actually able to begin booking these things. And so Disney will drop another batch then, and then another batch sometimes the day up. And so this morning I was actually able to get up, modify some selections, change some things around. We were able to get a Tiana's Bayou Adventure yesterday while we were driving in and then this morning we were able to get the virtual queue also and so we're actually going to be able to ride this twice. We got a lot of lightning lanes on the front end of today and so it is going to be a little bit of a crazy morning but one of the things that you need to make sure that you remember is that even if you're not getting exactly what you want first thing in the morning it's always good to book like a throwaway lightning lane kind of thing and, and what I mean by that is that you get just an early selection because remember you can make more selections after you ride that first selection and so what that enables us to do I don't know what to call it other than keep one rolling and so whenever sorry we saw more fall decorations um, but whenever we ride one at that point we can use one of those lightning lane slots to always do next available and we find out that that makes it really really easy to start utilizing the system to probably I would yeah it's the best way to use it to its fullest and so that way you've got the stuff that you really want it as the other two but you have that one that you can keep riding next available and you can really start stacking some rides in that way so our first ride of the day haunted mansion we're using a lightning lane but we didn't need one. Um, you can see that over there it's a 13 minute wait, which means that it's a walk on. But again, as soon as we use this guy, we can start booking some more. So I'm going to see what's available now. And so checking to see what's available. Um, check for another lightning lane experience. I'm going to click show only lightning lane experiences so that that is going to be there. And you can see that there is so much available. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's see, I'm going to grab Big Thunder, no I'm not, I'm going to check and see if Pan's still available because there was one earlier, let's see, there is, look at there, I'm going to select everybody, and even though it's a tier one and we hadn't ridden our tier one yet, we can ride it. So there you go. No windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs>
we say it every time, Disney, Br'er Rabbit deserves a spot here. That's all I'm saying. Mr. Toad's got his spot. Br'er Rabbit deserves his. We were able to ride Haunted Mansion, and now we're going to head over to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We were able to get a lightning lane this morning. I was able to hop on just before 7 and secure that. And we got a super order, uh, super early boarding group. We got uh, boarding group 5. We wanted one actually a little bit later because we got a lightning lane for it too. And so it's going to be kind of almost back-to-back -back rides. It's kind of weird the way that we're going to have to spread out this morning. But with the virtual queues, I mean, that's just kind of what happens is they end up planning the day for you just a little bit. So always keep that in mind. Uh, but we are going to try to ride as much as we can today with Lightning Lane, even though we do want to hang out and see the park more, with, especially with it being kind of the end of the fall season, with Christmas season about to start. But we are going to try to pack some stuff in and see what we can get out of uh, Lightning Lane today to kind of show you guys some of the best ways to use it. I'm hoping that you guys are going to be able to see a difference in these videos. I'm excited about today's park day. Um, we've got all sorts of really neat equipment. Now, I was able to pick up an Osmo Pocket 3 and super excited about trying to see the quality of this thing, the audio of this thing. This is the first time we've been able to shoot on it in the parks and so I'm kind of looking forward to see how this turns out. But hopefully you guys will be able to see the difference in this. We also have a new editing software and a brand new computer to be able to edit on thanks to a, a very very good friend of the channel helping us out with that and so hopefully if this video is weird you know why because of you know uh, new software and all the things but hopefully you guys are going to be able to see a difference we really do love this ride I, I we were one of the families that were you know upset about losing splash mountain just because of the nostalgia of it but we really do like this ride. I think that the only gripe, like if I really, really want to try to find something to gripe about, it would be downtime. Um, it is down a good bit, but if you guys remember, Splash Mountain was not perfect. Um, it had a decent amount of downtime too. Not as much as Tiana does, yes, I know, but it had a decent amount of downtime too. But we really love this ride and the queue is. Denise was just trying to grab her some breakfast. I saw her reaching out. <laughs> I'm so glad the water cannon is not on. Like, so glad it's not on. I'm glad it hasn't been on since they swapped over to Tiana. Fast improvement for me. You can get as wet on these little drops as <laughs> the big ones sometimes if it lands wrong. Oh, the anticipation is building. Still building. Still building. All right, well. Oh, oh they did. They, they pushed this. Carter survived it, everyone did not. But now, we're going down to Bayou. My favorite song, I love this song on this ride. Going down the Bayou, going down the Bayou. You ready for this drop? Yep. Yeah. If it ever comes, like we are stuck at like this, what, 30, 45 degree angle? Gosh. Yeah, just kind of chilling, hanging out. A lot of places. But the good thing is, is that this ride has awesome music. And so, you know, anytime you're stuck, you can enjoy that, right? Here we go. All right, see, you ready? Here we go. I see your face <laughs> dripping. So that just paid you back for everything, for all of it. That was the first time I got wet. <laughs> and you're soaked. Did you get hosed free? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh man, it's good stuff. <laughs> We're literally just gonna make a loop because now our GD Plus, I'm sorry, our lightning lane, I, I, it's gonna take me a while, guys. Um, our lightning lane has now come up, and so we just rode on the virtual queue, and so we're literally going to just loop around and go get on it again. <laughs> that was an uh oh. I thought that it said 9.05 for our next Tiana's, but it's 9.50. And so we are uh, gonna have a little bit of time. I thought we were gonna have to go straight back to back. And so this is not a terrible thing. We're gonna walk over here past Pirates of the Caribbean. I did not even look at the wait time. Like there's anybody there. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's here. And we are gonna do a mix of, uh, you know, Close. multi, uh, it could be closed, you were right. But we are gonna do a mix of multi experience lightning lanes today. And yeah, there's a wall of cast members. They're not open. Uh, but we are going to do a, a mix of multi-experience lightning lanes. And we are also going to do some standby lines. And so it'll be just a good mix of those. And we think that's the most effective way to get through a day. Isn't to do like an all or nothing kind of thing, uh, but a good mix of them. I did want to mention something else today. I know that I've got my new camera. I'm going to have my new computer and new software and all the things to work on this video. Um, but I also have my new glasses. Um, this is the very first time that I've been able to wear these new glasses from Fermu in the parks. They sent them out to me and asked me if I would give them a try and try them out. And I really love these things so far. And if you guys want to check them out also, I'll leave a link to the website in the description. And there's also going to be a coupon code down there for you if you want 50% off your frames. They don't just do sunglasses, but they do prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses. They do just fashion glasses, you know, with the clear lenses if you want that look. And so you guys should check them out. So far, I'm loving these things. Lightweight, comfortable, and so I'm really enjoying them. So thank you, Fermu, for sending these out to me. I really like them. And Jungle Cruise is down awesome. So we're seeing some stuff down as we walk back over to Tomorrowland. Usually I would be a little more purposeful about looking through the app to see what's up and what's down. But again, today, uh, with whenever I have Lightning Lane, it seems kind of strange to say, but whenever I have it, I just kind of like go through my day and as long as I can keep putting like a next available up, I don't really get stressed over what's open and what's not. And if something closes, they'll just send me a, a multi-experience that I can use almost anywhere in the park for later that day. And so I just don't really stress or worry about wait times anymore. You know, I hate that it's a paid service now. I liked it when it was free fast pass, but it really does kind of change the way that I go through the parks. And so if you're watching this, considering it, uh, that's something to take into account is I know that for like a family of four, the price is kind of high. Like today, $26 per person per day on top of your park tickets and all of those things. And so it does get kind of high, but when you think about what you gain from it, it might be worth it for you. I have not mentioned how amazing the day is today. The high is supposed to be like 82 right now. There's an amazing breeze blowing. The sun's out. When we first came into the park, it was actually a little bit cool. And so uh, it was weird because Carter is never one to say, you know, anything about being cold. The first thing that he did when he walked in, he was like, man, it's cool this morning. And so these are some of my favorite days to be in the park. It's like from here, until like February. I love being here. It's my favorite time of year to be here. But right now, I'm gonna go and get some Space Ranger spin, which is crazy. It's literally no way, but we have a lightning lane, but it's no way. Okay, we can check for another experience, and with no way, it makes it kind of hard. But let's see what we got available. Um, let's see, what do we want to go with? Let's see if uh, like a Space Mountain or something is available. Yep, Space Mountain, 1010. Let's grab it. Select all. And there we go. Ready to go. All right, Bree, we got this. Galactic Hero. Let's go. Let's go. We were able to get on and off Space Ranger spin, and no one got Galactic Hero today, which is kind of stinky. 
Um, Carter actually got the highest, um, 600 and something thousand. We struggled to get to the awesome targets, you know, the left hand of the robot, the claw on the right side. We just struggled with it. We're actually seeing a lot more characters out today. There are literally characters on the carousel. Let me flip this guy around. Check that out. Anastasia and Drizella <laughs> are riding <laughs> Prince Charming's time. Royal Carousel this morning. Um, we actually saw Mad Hatter out. We're seeing some of these characters that are usually out for the Not So Scary Halloween party. We're kind of seeing them sprinkled around the park, which these ladies are out all the time. Uh, we've seen them lots, but this is so much fun. We're seeing all sorts of characters. But what I was saying is that we were not awesome on Space Ranger Spin today, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna head over now. We have our Tiana's Bayou Adventure, um, the lightning lane that we booked. Remember, we already rode the virtual queue. And so we're gonna hop over there and ride our lightning lane. We're really enjoying today. I mean, there's not, uh, the, the park's very, very like low crowds. And so we're able to get around and do a lot of neat things. We haven't actually stood in a standby line yet. We're going to at some point, I'm sure but we are having an awesome day so far. Walking by Tom Sawyer's Island, Rivers of America, Riverboat. I, guys, it's gonna take a lot. Like Disney, you gotta bring your A game, baby. Uh, at the, you're going to have to win folks like me over. It has nothing to do with the actual experience of what's there. Though we do love going to Tom Sawyer Island. It's one of the very few quiet places in all of Magic Kingdom. Every park has their little quiet spot and Magic Kingdoms now is going away with the removal of this area. Uh, but man, you have got to bring your A game with Cars Land because you can't just throw up some IP here and call it a win. Um, it, you're, you're replacing one of the most iconic areas of the park. I know that this sounds crazy, but it's, it's not to the same degree for me, but it would be like making major changes to Cinderella Castle or like making major changes to Main Street, not getting rid of them, just changing them. If you got rid of them, obviously, you know, we would revolt, but um, it, it's, this is, this change is big for us. And so I really, really want to see what you bring to the table. You have some of the most brilliant people on earth and your Imagineers, most creative people on earth. And so we're excited to see what you guys do with it, but you got to do it right. Just tapped into our lightning lane and we're going to see what's available. At this point, we've got to start pay spacing some stuff out because we really do want to spend some time on Main Street. And so we're going to try to start setting a little bit later times. We do still have a Space Mountain coming up like immediately. And so when we leave here, we're going to go over there. But we want to start kind of moving some stuff till after lunch. We are kind of getting a little bit hungry. And so we're going to start spacing these things out. And that's one of the things that I do love about the system is that you are able to select your times. And so you can just kind of space out your day how you want. You're still kind of locked in with the whole virtual queue thing. You know, I would have loved to have had it later. But you do have a lot of flexibility with this new system. All right, so obviously we tapped in, and so that gave us availability now for another one. And we went ahead and grabbed us some mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh for a little bit later. Again, like I said, we're going to start spacing out some stuff because we do want to have some lunch and be able to shop some on Main Street. And so, yeah, we got Peter Pan coming up later, got Pooh. We're going to head over to Space Mountain after this, and then again, we'll be able to book another one. Sorry, Henry wanted front row. Carter got stuck with her. We're getting fourth row. Henry, for some reason, desperately wants squish butt today. And so she's going for it. So maybe odds be ever in your favor. All right, we're about to find out if we made a good decision or a bad decision. Again, the kids are up in the front, so they're definitely going to get squish butt. Like, not even question. But it's going to depend on where the wave lands. Usually, third row is good, uh, but back sometimes can get wet. But uh, yeah, let's see. You ready? We're probably gonna get some just because we tried to avoid it. But here we go. Let's see. Woo! Okay, okay. That wasn't that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I got some drippies, but that wasn't bad. That could have been a whole lot worse. 
trying to see how the front row fared. Carter literally has water dripping off of his face. So, yeah, so there's that. After the splash, it looked like you guys got hosed. I saw water dripping off of Carter's face. So, was the front row worth it? Cambry came off saying he might want a hug because she's drenched like that, but Carter's wet too. If we're going through frontier land, Carter's got to stop, get him a pretzel. He loves this loaded pretzel. It's probably, I don't know, is it now like your favorite snack in Disney or is it just the top five? Probably. Probably top five or favorite? Probably favorite. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'm gonna give you a bite of it too. Heading over to Tomorrowland for Space Mountain, and we were having a conversation, and it's just something that I want to remind you guys of. I know that everybody was like super excited when Tron went off of virtual queue and went to standby line. Um, right now, the wait is 50 minutes. Again, the park is like empty today, and so it can get a whole lot higher than that. And this is the first time that, as a family, we're making the decision to just say, ah. It's not worth it, right? Remember, we're talking about a 58 second roller coaster, and that's not me exaggerating 58 seconds um, from launch to stop. And so, I don't know how I don't know, like, I don't love virtual cues because they mess up like your day, they lock you into times, and you don't have the flexibility that you would like to have. But also, for a ride like that, you don't have to wait as long. Now, we have waited, you know, 45 minutes in a virtual queue. But again, 50 minutes on an extremely light day, uh, I don't know. And so it's gonna be interesting to see how many more times we ride Tron in the future uh, without buying the individual, which again is the goal, right? That's what they want you to do. And so, I don't know, just something to bring up. Remember, there is no virtual queue anymore for that. The only virtual queue in Magic Kingdom right now is Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So just something to think about before you come made it over to Space Mountain in Tomorrowland. It is still a posted 25 minute wait. Again, not a lot of folks here. And so let's go ride this ride that I question every single time I ride it. Am I getting too old for this? Cambry's gonna give her an impersonation of a middle school boy. Riz. Uh, we <laughs> We got the back and the backpack, and so four. That's how old I am. I decided that I'm gonna stop measuring my age and how many years old I am. I'm gonna start measuring how many times my back pops while I'm riding Space Mountain. And so today, four. Um, the first one actually felt good. After that, not so much. So remember that if you are sensitive to jerky rides, that one's not for you, but if you do ride it, make sure you get the very front of the first cart, not the back. <laughs> I really like that lounge fly. You gonna buy it for me? What? So you gonna buy it for me? I, you just <laughs> got one, didn't you? So? I mean, and by one, I mean, you just got multiples, right? Again, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, there's a matching hat. And matching ears. Oh. Yeah, I saw the one, ears. So it's a set. That oh, situation. Shirt too. Sorry, there's a matching shirt. <laughs> you gotta finish out the outfit. Hey, don't forget the hoodie. There's a hoodie over here. Okay, I I like the sweater. The sweater's pretty sweet. But all like the, the things. I like the orange t-shirt. All the things. So that's the t-shirt. That's the t-shirt. Okay, I do like the t-shirt. The t-shirt is pretty cool. I will give you that. And of course, I deserved this. While I was griping about Denise and what she liked and what she wanted, I found this. That is a really cool short sleeve button up. That one's sharp. And of course, Cambry found the Tron helmet. <laughs> What'd you find, C? I found this Stormtrooper mug. That's pretty sweet. He was making fun of that. They double did the lightsaber hill. They double did a light. Yeah, they did. They double did a lightsaber hill. How does that even? Work? I think it's broken and slid to the end. 
All right, it's time for us to go and get some lunch. We're gonna head over to the plaza. Uh, we've actually never been there before, and so we're gonna go hop in there and get us some lunch, see how we like it, explore Main Street a little bit. Um, like you guys saw, we have a few rides that we're gonna ride this afternoon. But yeah, we're having a great day here at the park. Again, it's a party day today, and so the crowds are always super low um, the day before a party. And so we've had a great time enjoying these lower crowds. All right, so our loaded fries came out. These look really good. I don't know what that sauce is on them. Did you see what the sauce was? Spicy sour cream. Spicy sour cream? Mm -hmm. That looks amazing. Why don't you give one a try? See what you think about it. It's like this little pop. Get one with all the stuff. Spicy sour cream. You do? Mm. It's good. Right, I love cheese fries, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. They're really good. All right, so here is mine. Let's try this thing. I love cheese fries. Um, these are pretty good. The only problem is in my head, I'm comparing them to Splitsville. And when you compare any fries on Disney property to Splitsville, oh. I don't know unless it's House of Blues. So Thank if you're comparing any fries on property to Splitsville or House of Blues, they're going to lose. Um, but these are really good. Like, I, I really like them. So what's the name of this hamburger again, Carter? The Ghoulishly Gourmet Burger. It has Swiss pepper jack, balsamic glazed mushrooms, candied bacon, and it also comes with, um, oh, was it? Buffalo, no, truffle buffalo aioli, which truffle we got on the side. Truffle buffalo aioli, that looks awesome. It does look awesome. What about yours? What was yours again? The Halloween turkey club, I think. Yeah, we went totally seasonal on, on all of this. <laughs> we didn't intend to, but um, it looks really good. It looks, it looks awesome. And then, Cambry, tell us about your meal. Chicken and fries. Chicken tenders <laughs> and fries. There we go. Oh man, we are so full, but now to the part of the day that I was most excited about. Let's go explore Main Street for a little while. I had to walk up here just to look down Main Street, see all of the things. Ah, gosh, I love it. I, I think, I think my favorite part of Magic Kingdom is Main Street. Um, it's always been Main Street, Rivers of America, kind of that feel, because this just feels Magic Kingdom to me. Being able to like look down Main Street, look at the castle. Rivers of America has always had that nostalgic feel, but you take one of my favorite things and decorate it, it's so much fun. Um, always make sure that you check out all of these pumpkins up here on top of the buildings. Each of these have their own set of pumpkins. They're all decorated certain ways. Like there's a snowman up there, yeah, which is funny because the Dapper Dan's just started singing Let It Go, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, uh, so make sure that you spend some time down here. It's not you. It's me. Oh, I had to stop for that joke. But anyway, so always make sure that you spend some time here on Main Street because there's so much to see. And the rides, I know that people come to Disney for the rides and the characters and all the things. Um, but if you do have the opportunity to come here a little more often, make sure that you spend some time just walking around and enjoying the atmosphere that's been created here. There's just something about, like, just the, I don't know, the, the feel of it, the nostalgia, the, uh, just everything about it. So just do yourself a favor. Make sure you spend some time just looking around. And you won't regret it. So we're going to check out some of the Halloween stuff for the very last time uh, for us. This is our very last trip to Magic Kingdom um, before everything swaps over to Christmas. And so... Uh, oh, earlier I was talking about um, the the wreath that Denise made, and this is actually what she made it out of. We actually ordered one of these last year, and she put this inside of a wreath, and that's what's hanging on our front door. And so we don't have the one that Disney made, but this one actually lights up, and so we can cut it on on the front porch, and so that's really cool. This is fine. I like that spirit jersey 
and these cups are really cool also i like that that's what this straw looks like uh candy corn yeah i was gonna say it has like a candy corn design that's why i pulled it out all right that was a great little break a little stroll down main street we were so full we needed to uh, but we have a few more rides that we have lightning lanes for and so we're gonna go over and start with peter pan's flight because we do have that one they are beginning to set up for festival of fantasy right now it's at two o'clock and so we might make it back over here for that but we have had an amazing morning uh 1 right now and so it's been such a great day here at the park and again this is one of those that getting a uh, lightning lane has actually enhanced our day like it's it's been great all right let's go ride us some pan last time we were here this ride was down for refurbishment uh, they were fixing up some things and so we're excited to ride it for the first time since they opened it back up we were able to meet peter pan and wendy over there um, because they had all of this walled off and peter pan and wendy were over on the outside but yeah this is going to be the first time we've ridden this ride in a couple months and so i'm really looking forward to it I love this miniature city. I, I think one day I would love to actually have to get taken off of this ride for an in-show exit just because I want to walk through the city. All right, while we were on the ride, we were able to get a Voyage of the Little Mermaid. We didn't really intend on coming over here to ride it, but we're going to be in the parks a few more hours and it was an immediate time. And so we were like, hey, we'll go over there. It's been a little while since we've ridden it. I did want to make mention of something though, and it's one of the things that I really like about the new um, multi-lightning lane pass system is that at the very, very top of the app, they've always had like the time that you could book another one, but now because it's as soon as you ride one, you can, that very top tile is always letting you know, hey, when, when it, you can make another one, there'll be something here that you can click, you can go through and select it. And when you can't, that box isn't active. And so it makes it really easy for you to be able to make sure that you know when you're eligible for another lightning lane. And so that's another thing that I do actually really like about this system is that you never have to wonder, you know, do I have two, do I have three? Because if you have a big gap on your uh, future plans, like between your times, the two closest to you or the one closest to your time will show, but the one much later in the day won't show. And so you may be wondering, hey, can I get a third one? Can I hang on to another one? And the app tells you that right up top. And so you can have three all the time. You don't have to dig through things to know if it's you know time for you to get another one or not. And so I do think that is a really cool thing about the new system. Okay, real question. What is your favorite cue in Magic Kingdom? And why is this one, the simple ride that no one rides, very close to the top of the list? So we're having a queue conversation, what the best queues are, and we unanimous Haunted Mansion was number one, we think. Peter Pan was maybe two if it's not a such a multi-hour wait. Obviously, the lightning lane means nothing. But if it's like a, a walk-on, that queue is amazing. Um, Tiana's is pretty good. Yeah, we said Tiana's. We like Tiana's. Too. Yeah, Tiana's by you Adventure I is. Mean, once you get in. Yeah, that's maybe a three. I still think this one's top five. Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean. We'll call that one. Where do I? I think I placed it at two. And then maybe Little Mermaid is number five. Maybe number five. Just because it makes you feel like you're. Yeah, Tron's fun. This is what I was talking about. It says check for another available experience once you redeem one right there. And so I'm gonna refresh because we just tapped in here. It's gonna pull up and see now it says uh, check for another available one. We can hop on here and we can see what they have. And there's not a lot left that we haven't written that we want to, but we are gonna grab Big Thunder right there. And there it is. Boom. Just that easy, guys. You can tell we have lots of friends and family that we come to Disney with. So, we've got a little bit of time before 
our next one. Y'all want to go try a Carousel of Progress People Mover? Or what you thinking? Uh, next one's poop, right? Uh, no, actually, the next one I think is Pirates if it'll it's ever close. come up. And close. then Big Thunder and then Poo. So it's 225 Pirates, 250 Big Thunder, 430 Poo, and it's 145. I see Carousel of Progress. People mover and carousel? Yeah. All right. Just family Robinson. I don't want to climb. I'm still full from lunch. I want to climb. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Are you okay? Are you sure you want to climb? You look yes. like you're about to fall over. Kind of like a boy again? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to pop in here and meet Ariel in her grotto because this is always like a crazy long wait and it says 20 minutes. So we're going to give this a go. And yes, if you ever come to Disney with us, this is the way that plans change. A joke all the time about in classic kitten style, we're just gonna go and kind of see what happens. But this is this is how we roll. <laughs> so if you ever with us, our plans can change on a dime. Yeah, we'll probably still end up over at People Mover and probably see Carousel of Progress. But first. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna try to head that way. Who knows though, we may get distracted again. <laughs> but we wanna go and ride the People Mover. We always like riding it, but we like it on cool, comfortable days uh, more than, you know, any other day. And we also wanna go and check out Carousel Progress again, just because I, I never really get enough of that show. I really enjoy it. I think we see it every single time we come to Magic Kingdom and that's a lot uh, and, I, and I know that a big variable is because it's air conditioned and cool and all but even on days like today I just really like the show and so we're gonna head over that way so another change of plans yeah so another change of plans we walked by Tomorrowland Speedway there was a five minute wait Cambry was like I want to drive and so I was like okay so we're gonna hop over here um, you're driving, I'm assuming, right? And I'm going to ride? Okay, good. Because I don't want to drive. I, pre I, pre fun driving. I prefer Disney transportation. So when I'm here, I don't drive. So you got this. All right, Bree. Let's go, girly. No bumping, no wrecking. No biting, no staring. Like we're at Ogus. I think you're driving this even better than I do, and you're not even trying. This is like one of the hardest things in the world to steer. All right, that's so purpose. Are you trying to shake me up? Are you sure that's not all? Yeah. While we were in line, um, we had uh, Pirates of the Caribbean go multi-experience because it's still down. And so we decided to book something else. We're literally running out of stuff to book and it's 2.11. And so again, it's done amazing for us today. And on these party days where crowds are low anyways, a lot of people may say, hey, it's not worth it to get it because again, there's not a lot of folks here. But I'm, I'm telling you, this is now multiple years in a row that on party days, we've gone, gone with Genie Plus, or in this case, Lightning Lane Multi-Experience. And um, yeah, at, we, we are literally able to do just anything we want, keep moving, um, we can stay as busy as we want. And so it's been pretty incredible. I'm not sure which we're gonna try first. We're gonna go over here and see what the wait for the people mover is. The wait today has gone 
uh, I anticipate there not to be really any weight at all, but if there is any weight, we may hop over to Carousel of Progress first before we hop in here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't think I see anybody over there. Probably one of the longest waits in the park is always going to be Astro Orbiter because you can't get like a Genie or a Lightning Lane or an anything for it. It's, it's always been that way, even going back to the Genie Plus system. Yeah, there's no wait over there. We're going to hop on over. You know, I get asked all the time, do I still get the fills at Disney World? And the answer is, yeah. I don't, I don't know that I ever come here enough to, to have that feeling go away. Now the feeling does change each time and I, and I have to concede that, right? But right now, I mean, just getting off of, um, you know, Tomorrowland Speedway with Brie, watching her drive, it reminded me of back when Carter was driving on that and now, like, he's got a truck and he's 15 and he's learning to drive for real and just looking over at her, having fun, driving, uh, just, again, it shows me how quickly all of the, you know, time as a whole moves and just being able to have these moments to remember and so I know that so often you know people ask me I even get comments sometimes on the channel how are you able to go to Disney so much and, and not be bored but the reason why is because it's always something special to me it's always something unique and I always take away these moments and that's why we pretty much don't have a bad day here is because I'm always looking for moments yeah. T I double G R. That's Tigger. Next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Trek. It's always something special about the people mover. Yeah. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. I find two of my favorite spots. Denise's lounge fly and her ears. Hello. So there's her lounge fly. And there's her ears. Looking all evil. So many ways to be wicked. Carter just noticed that they were loading a show. It's 2.30 and it, the park is starting to get some more folks in it. Um, I know that those who just have a regular uh, party ticket can't come in until 4 o'clock. But those that are annual pass holders that are coming for the party probably slept in, got some good rest, and they'll actually start coming in a little bit earlier than that. And so we're starting to see the crowds pick up now because of that reason, right? The lines are getting a little bit longer. It's still not bad at all, but you can tell that there are more folks coming into the park. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Oh, you're in for a real treat. I love that attraction so much. And I don't know why, like that fall scene, the next to last scene right before Christmas, just hits different. Like when it's right here in October, he says it's another beautiful Halloween. Uh, I love it. So uh, Pirates is still down, which is honestly like one of the main reasons we come to Magic Kingdom. There's Pirates and it. it's been down the entire day. So we might have to try to hop over here uh, another afternoon or something before we head back home. Uh, we're only going to be here a few days this trip and so I have to hop back over here and get it. But we do have Big Thunder left, we have um, Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh left, and we actually ended up booking some lightning lanes that I don't even know if we're going to get to. Like we're getting close to, to calling it a day. The party's going to be starting here after a while. It starts at 6, it's 3 o'clock right now. The party folks are going to really start coming in around 4 in about an hour. And so I think we're going to just do these couple of things and then call it a day. But we, you know, you know us, we change plans often. So we'll see. But I think that's what we're going to do. Unless Pirates comes back up before we get off. While we were walking, we decided that Big Thunder is going to be it today. Um, we're going to call it a day, go back, get settled into the room. Last night we actually stayed over at our condo because we got in super late last night and it wasn't really worth you know doing a night over here at disney to get in so late last night and so we stayed over there 
we still haven't unloaded all of our stuff in the room um it's actually still not available which is really weird because it's 3 13. um it says that they're still getting it ready uh but yeah we're, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day after this again unless pirates opens back up but we have had an amazing day with the same experience that we've had with this system before you know if you play your cards right and you know what's going to fill up first and you know what to book first you can do everything and you can do it with very little weight so again uh we were able to do this back in the fast fast days too you know figured out the system and, and just worked it well but uh and then of course it was free but if you're looking to get the most out of your day if you can you know budget that extra hundred dollars a day which i know is a lot um some parks are less but on average uh, you can you can really add a lot of value to your Disney stay. just reminiscing about the night that we came up here that was a snake crawling across right here kind of freaked us out a little bit we decided that we would try just one more time to walk by Pirates of the Caribbean and still down so not today not today and then also you have the Jungle Cruise that is down but it's actually getting converted to jingle cruise right now and so next time we come we'll actually be riding jingle cruise and so that was that one was expected that's fine uh so yeah i think that's gonna be it <laughs> we need to put hub grass in our backyard i wouldn't have to cut it anymore <laughs> yeah it'd be pretty awesome well one last look down main street decorated for fall next time will be christmas uh, they change it over pretty quick and they're going to be starting this process here in like literally uh, a few days and so oh gosh he's playing phantasmic that's what i was about to tell you uh yeah i'll take this as a way to leave today okay this is this is all right here the little rag tom phantasmic walking down between mickey pumpkins seeing balloons seeing bubbles all the things i love this place and with that we are done guys we had so much fun today you know being able to come and use the multi-experience lighting lane and be able to go around just do things leisurely and again that's the value that you're adding with getting that service and it's yes it's a cost and i know it and for many people um, it, it's not something that you can do because just coming down here the price of everything i don't recommend it for all of the parks but here especially with all of these rides and all the things to do here in this park the amount of time that it gives you on top of what you have here it, it helps so much and so we had a fantastic day we thank you guys so much for coming along with us we hope that you had fun too Remember that if you guys see us in the parks, make sure you stop and say hey, because we would love to get to meet you. But until then, remember to keep living in a Disney state of mind. Bye, guys. All right, we're getting ready for a not-so-scary Halloween party. And as if we don't already know, what are you guys? Wait, I'm Tamatoa. Grandma Tala. That is awesome, the tattoo <laughs> and everything. Well, we're not going to be able to stay tonight, but you guys have enough fun for all of us, okay? Bye. All right, bye. You. Take care. Y'all be good.